Okay, I'm now starting on my solar panel project. Before uh, I get too far down the road, I wanted to have some objectives. So I wrote some of these down here. The first one is uh, just targeting the panel to be about 60 to 70 watts of output. I want the panel to be uh, pretty much maintenance free, more like a commercial panel. So it wants to be long lasting not requiring any maintenance so I'm going to avoid the use of any wood or having to paint anything and try to you know use the same kind of uh, techniques that they use on a commercial panel see if I can get close to that with this design I like to be able to use the easy, easy to obtain materials and um, so I don't have to manufacture anything or send away for things that are hard to obtain. I don't want to actually have to go buy any new tools or have to hire anybody to do any of the particular work. So I'll try to do it within the, the reach of the average uh, a handy, handyman. And then uh, from a cost standpoint, target the cost to be about half the cost of if I was to go out and purchase a commercial unit which cur currently are at about three dollars a watt so the goal for the project is a dollar fifty a watt for the completed panel so I looked at three options first is to buy uh, pretty much everything ready to go buy a 36 cell eBay kit that would include the tabbing wire the flux pin and the bus wire buy the frame buy the tempered glass already cut to size and uh, any other parts that I need get that all on eBay or a comparable site who sells uh, ready to build or ready to assemble type kits second option is to do the same thing uh, except that I would buy in bulk to aim for building you know four to six panels so I'd save a little bit on all the parts and then instead of buying the tempered glass cut the size uh, and having it mailed to me I would uh, have it built uh, locally or have a local tempered glass supplier provide me the glass that I'm looking for and then uh, the last option would be to uh, buy the cells and the parts in bulk like I did in option two but I actually build the frame myself and uh, obtain uh, glass locally in this case it would be just clear glass so let's see where this leads us. So I looked at the first option. Yeah, this is a you buying one of these three by six inch uh, evergreen cell kits, and uh, I would aim at using the Class A kits. So the cells would be good 1.8 uh, watt cells, uh, without any chips or cracks, and they would have uh, no no. Uh, tabs on them so I'd install all that myself so I had control over the quality of it but I'd buy it with enough you know with a kit that's pretty much got everything ready to go and that should save a little bit of money uh, buying each of these individually for just a 36 cell build I'd also buy one frame that was pretty much ready to assemble that's designed to hold these 3 by 6 inch uh, 36 cell configurations the same guy who makes these frames also sells the matching pre-cut tempered glass for it you can also purchase that on eBay and then you got two options generally you can either buy this seal guard encapsulant that you pour over all the cells and it basically uh, pots them in place and seals it for life uh, from the moisture and that's pretty successful uh, or using this uh, EVA uh, plastic shrink material which basically encapsulates the whole set of 36 cells together including uh, the glass itself and so uh, unfortunately both of those options are very expensive just for something a panel that only has 36 cells in it so you see if you add up all of these options all these uh, items comes out $216 for 68 watts comes over top of three dollars a watt which is more than a commercial price of a panel so clearly uh, I wouldn't waste my time going down this route because I 
going to end up with probably an inferior product than one I could just go buy. So let's see what we can do. Option two, as I mentioned, you buy, buy like you're going to build about four panels or six panels. And this time you buy the cells at the best price you can get for the quality. You buy a reel of bus wire and tabbing wire. So you're buying a little bit higher quantities of individual items and you can save a little bit of money. So I save a little bit of money on that item by buying four or six uh, frames together. I save a little bit more item, more dollars there. By buying the temper glass locally, I saved about $15 and I did get a quote on this locally. And then instead of using the encapsulants that I mentioned on option one, this time I'm going to put a PVC backing uh, piece of plastic which is pretty low cost and some silicone to hold it all together with a, for a total cost of about five dollars. So the idea would be the uh, we would uh, silicone the glass to the uh, aluminum frame and then silicone the backing material with the cells inside to the aluminum frame as well and doing it in such a sandwiched manner that we'll be able to keep the moisture out. Adding up this option comes out $138, which is a little over $2 a watt. So that's better than the last option, but still not cheap enough. So let's look at the third option. The third option, do the same as I did in option two, buy enough material to be able to build like four panels and this time instead of buying the frames uh, in bulk I can build them locally using local uh, home uh, like a Home Depot type of store using channel stock and to save a few dollars and I can also use a uh, clear glass that's already basically cut to size if you want to use it that way and you could save quite a bit of money over buying it uh, uh, tempered glass pre-cut to your size or buying it over the internet and then using the same backing and silicone scheme I uh, had on the prior option. And in this case you add these up gets you about $101 and gets us to our bogey uh, under $1.50 per watt. So that's going to be our going in design and we'll see if uh, how it works out. Stay tuned.